Hey everybody, this video brings me and the family out to Tom Sturge's Pretzels. Check this place out. There's actually something really cool here I want to show you guys. Definitely an awesome roadside attraction. This place actually has a um, the pretzel store, which is pretty cool though. Sadly, they they just closed. It's like maybe like 20 minutes ago they closed out. Otherwise, I'd say we'd go in and check out the, the awesome pretzel store. But look at this. I'm guessing that's supposed to be Tom Sturge's right there. I have no idea. Looks like an Amish boy trying to hitchhike with the use of a pretzel. I mean, honestly, if if I saw him hitchhiking on the side of the road, he had a giant pretzel in his hand, I might pull over and pick him up if he pays for the pretzel. Sure, why? I mean, why, why not, right? That is pretty awesome. That is that is worth getting your photo taken in front of a lot. Ready? Here we go. Where's mommy? Here we go. And there we go. Got a picture with, with Tom Sturges and his, his giant pretzel. So like I said, they do have a pretzel store here. All kinds of... Uh, delicious snacks inside there that I would not mind um, eating right now if they were unfortunately not closed out. I've actually never been inside the, the pretzel store before. Definitely gonna have to do that one of these days. Come out here and go inside there and uh, maybe shoot a, uh, a cinema sickness um, like shopping video inside there. I could shop for I could shop for pretzels. I could, I could certainly do that. So I don't know how long this place has been around. I wish they had like an established huh? sign. Do they? Where? Ooh, since 1860. Good good eye on the uh, the sign out front so um yes yeah, since 1861 america's first pretzel baking family i did not know that so apparently tom Sturges is the first ever pretzel baking family in all of america 1861 that is a that's a long time for a family to be to be baking pretzels but i, I mean that's that's awesome they, they clearly know what they're doing i've actually had their pretzels before and they they are pretty delicious. I would highly recommend them. But all right, so we're not here to check out the sign. We're not here to check out, I mean, well, we're kind of here to check out the giant uh, Amish boy hitchhiking with pretzels because that's that's pretty amazing. Actually, that's really cool. I forgot that was even here. I, I definitely want to get my picture taken with that. But the reason why we had to come out here is to check out what's really cool right along the highway right here. I have no idea what highway this is. There we go. Oh, this is actually 7, wait, junction of 724. I'm not sure if this is 724. I think... Uh, Lancaster Road, 724, whatever this is. Right along the highway here, there's something really awesome. All right, you guys ready for this? Check out the giant pretzel. Some people may say upside down pretzel, but I think actually this is like the correct way for a pretzel to be because for those of you who do not know, the whole thing for a pretzel, at least what I've always been told, is it actually represents prey. I was always, I was always told, motorcycle. I was always told that the whole, um, Oh my gosh, there's actually something really cool I gotta show you. That's awesome. I gotta show you something cool over here in a second. But anyway, I've, I've always been told that the whole um, like premise of the, the pretzel, the whole reason why it was created was actually by monks. And it was to help teach their, uh, or help teach and remind and reward their students for prey. So the actual like cross there, it's the, it's like the hands like, 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 like praying. That's, that's what I was always told. Oh, and <laughs> Sean's sitting on the pretzel there. I'm loving it. So yes, apparently a pretzel represents praying the symbol of praying and it was a reward for i guess the the, the the students of the monks to um i think i think it was monks students of the sisters students of some yeah the, stu the students of some sort of um praying facility to to be rewarded for praying wow they are they are rocking that music copyright strike here i come so anyway that is the whole point of the um the, the pretzel. We need to walk away from that music right now. That is that is so incredibly loud. So there's your history lesson for the for the day. Pretzel represents praying. So I do believe that that's actually the correct way for a pretzel to be. Most people have them facing the other way because it just sort of looks like the natural way for a pretzel. It almost kind of looks like a face, but I think that way is the way you actually want to have a pretzel. But yeah, I didn't even see this. We kind of walked over this way a second ago, and I honestly thought this was just like a bunch of vines yeah. growing up a wall. What I did not realize was that's not a bunch of vines. That is a pretzel, like topiary. Yeah. How cool is that? What'd you say? Cool. You're part of the pretzel now? You're part of the pretzel topiary? Again, with the pretzel, looks like the um, correct way, right? Yeah. yeah. That is the uh, the correct way for the pretzel, the praying pretzel. I mean, that is pretty cool. What'd you say? They are the first, yeah. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna take the word of the first pretzel baking yes. factory in all of America since 1861. They know the correct way to face a pretzel. So if you ever go into a pretzel company, and they have you know, a symbol of a pretzel, they have a, a pretzel hanging up or on their logo there's a pretzel, and you see it flipped around, let them know. When's They're wrong, yeah, I, I don't trust them either. Does any Ann's use a pretzel on their like 
their symbol. I think they Ooh, might. I can, I, and I don't think it's upside down, is no, it? It's not. I can never trust Annie Ann's again then. Wow, all right, never eating Annie Ann's again. That's it. I am. I'm officially, <laughs> Sean, Sean's like, I, I don't care. Good, if it tastes good, if you're a good company, you love it. <laughs> Sean, Sean does not care which way a pretzel faces, as long as a pretzel is delicious. That's all he cares about. Well, Me, I don't know. I, I, I kind of, I kind of care good. now. Places like him. <laughs> so places like Annie Ann's apparently though doesn't know how to do a, a pretzel correctly. But this is awesome pretzel topiary. That is pretty cool. I think we need to tell him. I'm going to write Annie Ann's a very strongly worded letter and let them know that uh, their pretzels are incorrect and they need to flip them around or otherwise I will not be uh, eating at their establishments ever again because they have upside down pretzels. I don't want upside down pretzel. I want a right side up pretzel, which is apparently this way. See, so yeah, that's awesome. Go, go, uh, go sit over there with Sean. Yeah, look at that. This is too cool. Come out here, get your picture taken. <laughs> get your picture taken with the giant right side up, not upside down pretzel here at Sturgis Pretzels from 18, what, since 1861, America's first pretzel baking factory. Clearly Sean's having a blast out here with the giant pretzel. This is too cool. So right here on 724, what says was Lancaster Pike? Lancaster Pike, 724 out here in the Reading, Pennsylvania area is definitely something to come out and check out because it is a giant roadside pretzel. That is too cool. And again, they do have this awesome pretzel store, which I'm, by the way, I'm loving the architecture of this store. This has to have been here since, this has got to be what, like 50s, 60s, 70s? Probably. Something, yeah, this, this is this is definitely retro. This The whole style of the store. Look at the, um, like the glass bricks on the side. That is awesome. I'm loving the, the actual wood, like pillars there. And of course the really cool sign that just says pretzel store. That's pretty amazing. I want to see, now I really want to go inside there. But this is what the outside of the store looks like. I can only imagine what the inside of the store looks like. Hopefully it hasn't been redone. I love when you go into like an old store that's been around since like the 50s, 60s, 70s, and they never renovated the inside. Still has the old tiles and everything like that. That is always cool in my opinion. If you if you have a store like that, don't don't touch it. Keep it as it is. Keep it amazing. Keep it retro. Keep it fantastic. Some people might go, it's out of date. No, it's in date. That's how it should be. It's awesome. It's what it, it, if it was built in the 50s. Keep it looking like the 50s. Yeah, now I really want to go inside here and see what oh, they're, they're watching us. We're watching them watching us. It looks pretty old school in there. I mean, look, I see, I see like old school looking tile. The doors are kind of old. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's old school inside there. We, we, we got to come back here yeah. and check this place out sometime. But in the meantime, we have to get our pictures and stuff with the, uh, with the giant pretzels, with the, get hitchhiking Amish boy holding his pretzel sideways. We know now, but we know that this is the correct way. Did I just mess with the camera there? I have no idea. But, uh, that's too cool. I mean, this thing is, this thing is gigantic and very, very hot. Don't touch the giant pretzel boy. It is very warm. Was it, was, it, was the other pretzel really warm? The pretzel I made you sit on, I now realize in a dress. Yeah. Is it hot? You're good. All right. Nice. I didn't burn your legs I off. Was like, I was like this. You were loving it. I was. Well, all right. We're gonna walk backwards to pretzel, which is fine because we're gonna end this video soon. So I guess. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Lo loving your, loving your, all your cool roadside fun stuff. Next time we're going to make it back out here to actually go inside the store. Alrighty, what you go. Oh, what? Oh, we're... Just for him. I don't know if he knows what horses are. Oh, wow. Are. Yeah, look, buddy. Check, check this out. They brought us free snacks. Horse and You're buggy welcome. pretzels. Oh, no, that's okay. Thank you so Where are you guys from? We are from um, the Valley Forge area. Oh, nice. Yeah, we just came out to check out the giant pretzel, really. And then I was like, oh, there's a pretzel store. I forgot. And we saw you were closed. We were, we were kind of bummed, but we'll, we'll be back out. You need me to take a picture. Oh, no, no, you're, we're, we're good. You're okay. good. So, yeah, thank, thank you very much. You're welcome. See? We don't have soft pretzel. No? So, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We have soft pretzel mix. Okay, that's, that's perfectly fine. Good. Thank you very much. Bye. So, look, look at that. The kind generosity of Tom Surge's pretzels. They, they saw us out here filming, and they brought, they brought Sean horse mm -hmm. and buggy shaped pretzels. Oh, because so cool. we are oh, kind of so sort of right outside, like, Amish country, right yeah. outside Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And what are these? Little, oh, little like ones. little tiny pretzel bites, little ones. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah. I, I, all right, we, we gotta come back. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna come back. We're gonna film a video in there at some point because this place is amazing. You can get your picture taken with awesome pretzels. And maybe we'll get they, more of these. They, they bring your pretzels. This place is too <laughs> cool. Nicest place to ever. So, all right, guys, again, right here on Lancaster Pike, 724, whatever this might be. 
right outside of Reading, Pennsylvania. We're not. I think we're in Sinking Sinking Springs. Is it sinking Spring right now? We, yeah, we're. This is either Sinking Spring or whatever. It's right outside Reading, Pennsylvania. Sturgis Press. Just look it up. You can find this place. Sean's having a blast. Get your picture taken with the giant roadside pretzel, which is really awesome. And um, go inside and support this place because clearly they are the nicest people in the world. I can't believe they brought us yeah, free pretzels. Yeah, they That's. Saw us looking. I was like, oh, these people are bummed that we're closed. Let's give them pretzels. That is too. That is too cool. That is too amazing. Super nice of them. Like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> going back to a car. I did too. I thought, she was, I thought she was just saying hi. No, she brought us pretzels. So, all right, guys. Yeah. That's it. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for checking this video out. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and all my stores. Also, check down below for a link to my other channel, Cinema Sickness, where I do. Bye. Have a good one. Thank you to the pretzels. Also, check down below for a link to uh, my other channel, Cinema Sickness, where I do daily videos on thrifting and shopping and whatnot. We probably should shoot. I got a video in there shopping around for pretzels. Yeah. You might do that on the other channel at some point. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of filming a video, definitely watch that video when it's out because it's probably I agree. Amazing. And what should you do to that like that like button and and, and bell? Smash, Smash them! them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So they crack like a little bit, but then a heart comes out of it. The crack. Okay, you heard it. You heard it here straight from Sean. Hit the like bell. Smash the like bell so it cracks a little bit and a heart comes out of the bell. If it doesn't happen, blame Sean. Anyway, guys, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye. Know, but make sure you click it. <laughs> All right. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya.